Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Pivot Boss pre market video for Friday, August 13th, 2021. I am Frank Ochoa, aka Pivot Boss. Here's a look at the daily time frame of the ES. The ES continuing to push quietly higher out of the narrow multi day range and the multi week range. It is pushed now through the 4450s, and according here to our key range, we still have some upside targets to reach. If we use the recent impulse sell-off and bounce back to the mid here, uh, we still have upside targets at 44.65 that could be hit and also at 45.45 ahead. As long as price continues to hold above the top of the key range here, which is about uh, 43.97. So any push or pullback into that zone could push park, uh, the market back up toward these highs uh, into the 45.45 as the ultimate target down the road. This market remains very bullish overall, and uh, again, it continues to see a very strong bullish trending structure. The Pima trigger zone remains intact, and even if we were to see any sizable pullback on a multi-day basis here, it could still provide a nice boost to that upside target. So right now, everything's still flowing to the upside. Um, fade the edges with an upward bias, and again, this market remains strong until proven otherwise. Taking a look at the NQ. Now the NQ has been a bit different. Tech has been lagging uh, the S&P, some of the Dow here, uh, energy stocks, bank stocks leading the way, whereas tech being sold a bit. And you can see here that tech is still below the previous week's close price. It uh, continues to see lower highs and lower lows day over day. And today would be perhaps the first day where we see a higher low and a higher high. We've already seen a higher high today. We have a higher low developing. We could pull back as deep as the previous session's midpoint and be a good buying opportunity to finish the week strong and perhaps trigger additional strength next week. So right now, a bit of um, a little channel here that's developed. If price can push through the, the 15 ones, it opens up some strength ahead. So this could be a bullish finish here for the week for the NQ, although it has lagged the broader market. Taking a look here at crude oil, this one right now down uh, a little bit here, but this pullback allows for what could become a bullish outside day later on. We talked about this in our trading room late yesterday afternoon. The fact that, that we had this very narrow range after a very solid uh, rejection day the day before. Uh, indicated that we could see a test at this low which could then be rejected and then pushed higher to new highs. So we're expecting here for price to challenge the previous session's high and become a bullish outside day at some point today and perhaps uh, even see a push into the $70 uh, level which is about a one handle from where we currently are. So right now as long as price continues to hold the previous low, call it 68.50 uh, we have a shot to see a bullish outside day and a shot to see 70 today. All right, here's a look at gold here. Uh, obviously, we had that major flash crash on Sunday evening. That was preceded by a significant sell-off event on Friday. What we talked about in our trading room on Friday was anytime you see an event of plus 40 points in GC, it tends to trigger additional selling pressure. That's exactly what happened here. Uh, price bounced off of market structure at the 1675 zone. And as we mentioned before, by, by holding that zone, it was suggested that we would bounce back toward the breakdown point of 1765. We're there now. And again, that kind of goes to reinforce the point when you have a significant flash event, price tends to correct itself and go back to the point of origin. We're there now. Uh, again, the major zone to continue to watch, 1675s, that's a zone right here that is the bottom of market structure, 1760. Uh, and if there's a failure to get back through that zone, we may be stuck in this lower market distribution. An ability to get back above 1760 and hold would then perhaps return us back to the top of the previous market structure, which would be 1835s. So this is a big time point in the chart right here for gold. We'll continue to watch the 1765 zone. All right, that is it for now. We'll see how this plays out heading into the weekend. Have a fantastic Friday, and I'll see you in the trade room. Take care.